Hi, welcome back to my channel, Miss Damn Jewelry. I'm Dolores, and today I have a little small haul. Just a small one. It's the continuation of all the hauls prior. So this is the last little bit of stuff that I had shopped here, there, and everywhere. So I'm going to get into it, and we can see what was left of my little haul, or my big haul, a haul over a period of time. Right, so let's get into it. So the first thing I got, and I'll tell you where I got each one. I got these, oh my God. Salt and pepper shaker, turtle salt and pepper shakers. Let me just look. Looky here. Now, the, some of the coal paint obviously is worn off both of them. And I'll show you the other one. And the weird thing is they both have two holes in their head. So if you like equal amounts of salt and pepper, you're good. You're golden. You, no problems. And they are older, They I have crazing, and they have the wooden corks on the bottom. Both of them have their corks, so that's good. So I got these at Fusion Antiques one day when I went in there just to have a little nose. And she had these, and I was like, oh, they're so cute, a little face, hello. And they're just so, I don't know if they're tortoises or turtles or what have you. Like I said, I don't know if they're, I think the coal paint has worn off of them, but look. I don't think it, I mean, I just, I think it adds to the appearance of the shell. Maybe that's how they were painted. Don't know. But mm, there's no maker's mark on them. But I don't care because they're cute. So these would be going on my Etsy shop. I really did love these. So that's what I got from Fusion Antiques. Now, I went to Ashgate Hospice. I believe this is where I got this from. And I got this little set here, which I love. So it is a... What they would call a snack, a snack set. So you have your plate and your little cup and a place for your sandwich or your biscuits when you're having your tea or your coffee. So this is uh, Foster's Pottery. I don't know if you can see the bottom of it. I'll show you. It's called Foster's Pottery in Cornwall. Does it say Cornwall? Cornwall, England, yes. So Foster's, a lot of the, their uh, items look like this. I mean, look at the colors on that. Oh, it's like a mottled type of glaze. And the cup, you know, obviously matches. So that was a, and the bottom part is like a darker blue. It doesn't, I don't know if it's picking up. It looks, probably looks brown there, but it looks like blue. And it's in perfect condition. There's no chips, no cracks. It all feels really good. $2.95, I think I paid for this, which is not bad for a snack set. Now, I was told they were called a tennis set by... Uh, Gail from Cup and Saucer, and she knows her stuff. So, if you know, put in the comments. Is it a snack set or a tennis set? Why they call it a tennis set, she didn't seem to know. But she said with the cups and the little plates like this, little side plates, they're called tennis sets. So, that's not a chip, y'all. That's just a little bit of plastic on there. So, see, it's still good. So, I was really happy to find that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very thrilled. So then the next thing I got, I went to a place called Bernardo's. It's also a charity shop really close to my house. I often pop in there. Oftentimes, I, I'm not really lucky in there, but every now and again you go in and there'll be less, like great stuff. So I decided to go in that day and see. So I did get this. This jadeite bowl is Anchor Hawking. I don't know if that's going to pick up. It's an Anchor Hawking uh, bowl. It is heat resistant, made in the USA, and has number 14 on it. So it was a pound. Now, why would I just buy one big bowl? Well, that's all they had, and there's no, absolutely no scratches on the bottom. It doesn't even look like it's been used. But I will put this on eBay because it may be part, someone's looking for just this size or this to complete their collection. So I will definitely put this on e on my eBay, and it's just a nice piece of jadeite glass. Just pretty, Fire King. I, I was surprised to find it in the middle of a clay cross. You know. So then I got, so I don't really buy plates. I'm not a plate buyer. I'm not like, oh, look, a collector's plate. Let me pick it up. I, I don't like shipping them. Uh, maybe I'm missing a trick. Don't know. I don't really do decorative plates, but I picked this one up actually from Gail from, at Cup and Saucer because she was like go just take it just here because she had like things three for a pound or whatever and so she's just like you can take the plate so I took but I loved it has 
a swallow and a house martin on it. So there's a swallow and a house martin. And it's a, this plant here is a wild strawberry plant. Now, why I liked it, it had, it's Noritake, and it's the country di diary of an Edwardian lady. Noritake made in Ireland. And I just love it. And it has this little poem on it. And it, I don't know where it starts. Uh, so it's got this little say, saying, it says, soon over their heads, blithe April air shall sing, a thousand wild flowers round them shall unfold. The green buds glisten in the dews of spring and all be vernal rapture as of old. So that's got Jay Kebley or Kebble. So it's got this little saying on it. And again, I'm, it, it, and I don't know if it goes to a set. It has, a, it's numbered 1906 and it says Webb and Bauer. Oh, 1977 is when this was made. So I just liked it. I liked the look of this. This would be a plate I would display. And I said, I'm not a plate person, but the swallow and the house martin and it just on its own in a gallery wall. This is cute. So I don't know where I'm going to list this. It might have been part of a set. I have no idea. I haven't really looked into it, but I just thought it was nice. And then she was just kind of like, you know, here, girl, take it. So I did. So I thought that was a nice piece. Again, I'm not really a big plate person. Uh, not that that not that it's bad if you are, it's just not my jam. Do you know what I mean? I'm just not buying plates because they are hard to ship. It's not hard to ship. It's just I, I don't know. Anyway, moving on to this sewing box. Now this sewing box I got from I don't know where I got it from, and it is not in the best shape. Let's just be honest with you. So let me open it up here. Hang on, hold please. So the inside looks like this. Very bright, shiny satin, places to put your pins, your straight, you know, your little sewing pins or whatnot. The problem is the strings that would hold the lid up have come away. So they would set there on, on right there. There's a little nail there that you would nail it in. So that's the first issue. So this, these, both of them are away, have come away. Now there's like little tiny nails in there. You see that little nail there? And that's where they would have been like tapped in. And obviously just over time, it's worn away. And the other issue is the bottom. It's stained in there and I don't know how to clean it. I don't know what I can use to clean it. Now I do work with chemicals at work that probably would clean it, but then I don't want them to either discolor the fabric or make a bigger stain from the cleaner. So I don't know how to clean it. If you have any idea, it's like a satiny material. Yeah, like I said, like a rayon probably. And it's just got some marks in it. And then the bottom has that, you know, someone had, got happy with their markers. However, <clears throat> I could sell it as is and it'd be like, you know, it's a piece you have to restore. Use it for myself as a Christmas display. Oops. Because it is really bright red. And I'm thinking maybe putting like a tree, like a like a bottle brush tree, maybe like a reindeer, have it like either like this or have them sitting in it. Something that would be big enough to, that you would see. Like popping out of the box. Because the color is like a maroon and green. And I I had to get it. I know it had these issues and I just thought, I love a good sewing box. I don't personally sew, but I just, I couldn't leave it. With this though, with the sewing box, I thought, you know, I could tap that. I could have Paul tap this back in for me and then keep it for myself and use it in my a vignette for a Christmas display, maybe up there, maybe in my living room and put like a little Christmas seed, you know, like a bottle brush tree, maybe a, or a treat. Oh, a tree topper in the middle with a bottle tree brush on either side with it sitting like kind of like like that. Oh, or maybe like little presents in it. Something really, really, you know, um, festive. And I think I might keep this for myself, actually, and just have my friend help me repair a little bit of it. So that's what I might do with that. So now, sorry, there's a cat on the table. And it's very precarious because i got breakers up here. Please don't knock nothing down, girl. Okay, she's just going to sit there. So the next thing I got, I got that, I can't remember where I got that. I think I got that at Sue Ryder. 
when I was also at Sue Ryder, I found these little wall hangings and they're not plasterware or chalkware. They're just little ceramic seahorses. So there was three in this set and they were a pound. Now, I don't think they're particularly old. They might be from the 80s or 90s. And there's no damage on the front. So he's like a blue speckled. Now he does have a wee chip right there on the back. But I think once you hang that on the wall, you're never going to see that. And then there's this peach colored one. This is why I thought the 80s, because of the colors. This is the peach one, luster wear. They're both lustery. And then the one in the middle is gold, which I was like, okay, work. So this is the gold one here. And honestly, he ain't painted that great, but he's not broken anywhere. He has no chips. And I think the three of them together on a, like, on a bathroom wall would be so cute. And they were only a pound for all three. So I just thought these would be cute in someone's bathroom. Heck, even in mine. I'm not sure. But I will definitely try them out. And if they don't sell, I will put them in my bathroom. There you go. So I'm going to sell those as a set together. Now, the other things I got were, oh, I got this little shoe also at the hangar by my place of business, by my work. In fact, the rest of these things are from the hangar by my work. So I got the, this, uh, oh God, what are they called? Clog. I got this clog. It's got crazing. It's got a place for your cigarette. You know, when you want to put your cigarette out in the clog, like you do. It is Delft blue. And it also has a sticker on it. So I imagine this was a tourist piece. So it says, Delft's blue, hand painted, made in Holland. So, but wait, there's more. There was something inside of it. So then you get this certificate. And this thing was 95p. So I will, when I sell it, I'll just leave this little, like I saw it as I found it with this in there. But what else I found in there was this, Royal KLM. And it's like, well, KLM's still an airline. I know, but it looks kind of old. So it's a little pullout thing of all the little types of houses that they have in, in Amsterdam. And it was just folded up in there. With it. So this must have been someone on a trip, got the little KLM thing, and I'm going to sell it with everything in it. It's going to come with the paperwork and the KLM because that's how I found it. As you know, I've shown these before and these little vases with the not so controlled bubbles at the bottom. This is a light blue one. I do well with these. I sell these quite well. It does have a clear, well, it's clearish bottom, but it's, it's like a texture. So it's not smooth, smooth. And again, it'll need to have a little bit of, um, the little denture tablets you can put in there to take the hard stain, hard water stains off. 95p. Yes, all day, every day. Thank you. I'll have that. And I got another one. Now, I haven't really seen this shape before. So it's like a teal color. And again, it's not so controlled bubbles in there. And it was, again, it was 95p. So I got that too for 95p. Again, I've never sold this shape before, but I imagine it'll do just as good. And the bottom is not smooth, smooth. So these are just little art glass bud vases made, just not made, you know, particularly, you know, perfect, you know, perfection finished. But they're still cute and they still sell. So that's why I got these two. So the last thing I got, oh, that was loud, was this. And I got this at the lighthouse, I think. Yeah, I think it was one of the times with Jessica is this. It's like a little cabbage style pitcher. I'm, and it's called, this was one pound 90. I'll, I just want to take the sticker off so I can show you. Okay. So there's a sticker, one pound 90. You've seen that. We'll, we'll take it off now. So it is made by Royal Winton Grim Wades, made in England. So it's got that. So it's just like, a, I don't know if it was a, it's a pitcher, like maybe a gravy pitcher or a pitcher for a, it had a sugar with it, or it, I'm sure it's part of a set. But this is all I found. And I loved it because it had the green and the brown. And what does it remind me of, y'all? Autumn. Mm hmm Autumn. Y'all know. I don't have to even, I don't even have to disclose my love for autumn to you because you know. I've said it enough times on, on here. 
So this, for £1.90, I thought, no chips, no cracks. It doesn't even have crazing. Oh, no, it has a little bit of crazing, but nothing out of control. And that would be cute with some with some orange mums or, you know, some orange flowers with some brown, like, pine cone sticks in it. Oh. Now, this will be available in my autumn sale that I'll be having on September 11th and 12th. It's a Saturday and Sunday. And I'll be dropping items on my Instagram. It'll be an Instagram sale on my, you know, just a static sale on my grid. And this will be available to buy. So, hey, if you're interested, it'll be in that sale, y'all. Uh -huh. So that's my haul, y'all. And so today for Dolo Digs, who are we going to feature? Oh, there's so many choices, but who am I going to feature today? Let's think about it. Oh. All right, guys, today for Dolo Digs, we're going to talk about a somewhat newish channel. Not brand new, but has a new name. Dear Angela's Vintage, Angela Marksbeard. You all know her. She's the person that keeps everybody's sales straight. She does sales schedules on Instagram, and you can go follow her on Instagram. I'll put her link in here and see what, what schedules are coming up, what sales are coming up. And it is for the American resale community, which is fine. We can watch it from the UK, too. I do. She also has chats before Thrifty You goes live on their live sales. I'm just excited she's now selling items on YouTube. I think it's long overdue and she's such look she is a great person if you don't know her you should get to know her she helps the community so much she's very helpful she you know she can point you in the right direction if you need to ask something or you need to know something she can help you and she's got good stuff she'll do a friend mail unboxing and the stuff people send her is amazing and the stuff she now sells is amazing so i will link her channel here I will have her videos here and I will have her link in my description so you can go and subscribe and hit the notification bell to Dear Angela's Vintage, Angela Marksbury. All right, guys, that's my Dolo Digs for today. You guys have a great day and I will see you again soon. Bye.